Hello guys, it's Laura and you are watching Laura X Annie. Today I'm doing my Harry Potter collection. Oh, I'm back to another Harry Potter video. My last Harry Potter video will have been my Harry Potter tag, which will be linked here or here. Um, I am so excited to do this video. I'm so excited to be back. If you guys like Harry Potter, like me, please click down here to subscribe wherever the subscribe button is. I think it's now down here. It used to be up here, but now it's down here. Do you like I just get to use the wand? I get really excited. Um, yeah, so Harry Potter. I'm a huge big fan of it. If you're new to my channel, I have been a Harry Potter fan since, truly, properly, since 2010. But I've really been a Harry Potter fan my whole life. But I really, really got into it in about 2010. Which is when the franchise was, was was finishing, the films were finishing, but I was still a humongous big fan of it. Um, because when I was younger, I loved how the Philosopher's Stone, loved it. And then, we had a bit of a problem, because I went to a mate's house for his birthday, and he had a Harry Potter party, had the glasses, had Hedwig, and uh, the, we had to all watch the Chamber of Secrets, and if you don't know me, well, I have arachnophobia, and it's really bad. And it's been like that since I was a little girl. And if you know the Chamber of Secrets, you'll know the huge big spider bit. I'm basically Ron Weasley with arachnophobia. Um, so yeah, that then scarred me for life and therefore I thought I would never get into High Potter again because I was terrified of it. And then I started reading the books, I read The Goblet of Fire and kind of moved on from there. But it's okay because I got back into Harry Potter because I would not let it <laughs> arachnophobia ruined Harry Potter for me. So I have a humongous Harry Potter collection that has grown and it will grow by the end of the year because I am going down to London to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and I will be going to the Noble Collection store in Covent, uh, not Covent Garden, Stephen Dials and uh, the big Oxford Street Primark at the end of the year. So expect a big Harry Potter haul probably in January. Expect that to happen. Expect, expect that to happen. Get it? <laughs> Ah, uh, but yeah, just, let's get into this, shall we? Yeah, so let's start with the wand. So this is my wand. It is uh, Draco Malfoy's wand. Comes in this beautiful packaging. Um, it's the Ollivander collection. I think it was a kind of cheaper one. It doesn't have the nameplate in it, but, there you go. But uh, I got this from the platform nine and three quarters shop at King's Cross back in July, 2017, so last year. And uh, I love it. I use it far too much because it has no magic in it. Or does it? Am I actually a wizard? <laughs> oh, let's just keep going, yeah. So um, I'm going to start with clothing because I have an abundance of it. I don't know how I've managed that, but I do. So let's start, right? Okay. Put the one there. So first off, this is one of my newest purchases, High Potter wise, are these. I actually showed them in my Halloween haul, if you haven't seen it. Uh, it'll be here or here, just go see it. Um, so I got these off of ASOS, they are men's slippers and they are Slytherin. So instantly you can guess what my house is, it is Slytherin. They're very comfy, I do like them, they're a newer purchase. Next up, well I guess it's a bit of lifestyle, but still clothing. No, it's not, but you know. I have this beautiful cushion, it says nine, uh, platform nine and three quarters, um, which Yes, I do like, but I prefer this side, which is the Marauders map. And if you don't know, I'm a humongous Marauders fan. Oh, I just want to direct and write the Marauders movie. That is my dream. That is a life stream, is to write and direct a Marauders movie with Karen Gillan as Lily, Aaron Taylor Johnson as James Potter, um, Evan Peters, I think we make a good Peter Pettigrew, uh, Andrew Garfield as Remus Lupin, and Ben Barnes as Sidious Black. That is the dream of life and hopefully it will happen. Um, but yeah, so my friend got me this for Christmas um, and it's from Primark, I love it so much. Next up, I bought this uh, in like March. It is a Slytherin blanket from Primark. I actually bought it because I was going to London and I thought I really want like a nice little blanket to wear, um, well to drape over me when I'm sleeping because I don't like sleeping in the hotel sheets not anything to do with that, just sometimes I prefer to, I think something like this is cosier so I usually take a blanket with me if I'm going anywhere, so you can tell this is going down to London with me again, but I love it, it's from Primark, it's so cosy. Okay, now on to actual proper clothing. 
So first of all, this isn't Harry Potter, it is Harry Potter related because it has Harry Potter pins on it. But this is an old jacket I have, but it's, I'm showing you the pins. So first of all, the first pin I have is this and uh, I'll do a close up of it. It is Quidditch Hogwarts and it's got the little uh, goals in it. Next up I have a pin and that was from Primark. I've got another, it came from this set, which is this one. And um, you have a broomstick, two beater sticks, I can't remember what they're called, and a quaffle, and a quaffle, um, a quaffle. And that came with it. Um, and then I also have this pin, which is Mad Eye Moody's Eye. It says Constant Vigilance. I got that off of Etsy. Then over here, we have <laughs> a Slytherin pen. So this is just, just says Slytherin. That's all. That's all it says. It just says Slytherin. I feel like I had another pin, but it seems to have disappeared. Oh well. But yes, it was the Slytherin Quidditch banner that I have, which is so cool. Next up is one of my prized possessions, and it is a hoodie. And it's Slytherin. Can you tell I'm a Slytherin? And it says Slytherin here. Uh, it's got the snake. And then down this arm, it says Slytherin. And this is from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. I got it last October. It's one of the best birthday presents I've ever got when I was down on the tour. Oh, it's so cosy. This, I lived, I actually lived in this when I was up at my flat at Christmas last year because that was all I wore. <laughs> Now on to proper clothing. This is from Primark and don't be said that I don't actually love Harry himself. Although I am a Slytherin, I do love Harry himself. It's a little chibi Harry and it says Harry Potter. It's a nice burgundy colour and it's from Primark ages ago. A lot of this you probably can't get anymore. This you definitely can get. This is I just a recent purchase. I feckin' love it. They didn't have it when I was down. But it is the Slytherin sweatshirt. So it has like... Slytherin there and Slytherin here. It is the coziest thing in the world. Um, Tom Felton, who plays Draco Malfoy, has this. One day, I, I live for the fact I hopefully meet him whilst he's wearing his and I'm wearing mine. It's <laughs> Matt, love at first sight. Um, but no, yeah, I love this. It's the coziest thing in the world. You can still get that. It's a bit pricey, but it's worth it for the material. Next up, another Harry Potter thing. I love this one. This is a white top that says, undesirable number one, Harry Potter. Contact the Ministry of Magic immediately, and it's got like all the writing. It's actually even got fine print that you can read. The fine print says, printed by the Ministry Press, Diagonale, England, registration. It's actually like, it's so intricate. It's so, so intricate, but I do love it. Um, so that's that high Potter tea from Primark. Um, next up, right, there's a store in Glasgow. If anyone knows it, it's like Hot Topic, but it's, it's British. Anyway, is it EPM? Um, EMP, I don't know, but it's from here and it's a guy's one. So it says Slytherin and it's basically like a Slytherin Quidditch and that's the back of it. So it's like a, it's a guy's Slytherin Quidditch tea but I got this in March. Um, I do love this, I do love it. It's a bit kind of guyish but I do love it. Next up we have another one of my prized possessions from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Grim Old Place! As I said, I love the Marauders so this is a lovely grey sweat, uh, grey t-shirt with London Buddha of Islington Grimmauld Place. <laughs> I love it, do you love it? This uh, next one is also from Primark and it just says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry with kind of the Gryffindor colours. We can forgive them for the Gryffindor colours although I slither. But yeah, no I do, do love this. And next, the last t-shirt and the last thing from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour clothing wise is this. Have you seen this wizard? Again, it's so detailed. Um, but yeah, it's Sirius Black. If you guys will realise who I really love in Harry Potter, it will become clear as we get through here. But no, I do really love this top. It's so cosy, they're so comfy as well. I do look like a slight bit of an idiot when I'm wearing them, but do you know what? Couldn't care less. Next up is a pair of pyjama shorts from Primark. And they are Gryffindor, because they didn't have Slytherin ones, but also they looked really cosy and it was only about two pound, so I couldn't help it. So a little kind of pajama shorts and they've just got the Gryffindor emblem, emblem there. But of course, we have a pair of Slytherin shorts, 
my other pair in the wash. They come with a cami, but I never usually wear the cami. I can't help it. So there's these pair. Next up, we have a loving pair of green. And they aren't, they aren't actually Slytherin ones. They're just like alumni. Um, so it says, a graduate of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And then they're just green. They don't have anything else on them to show you it's Harry Potter. But I love them because they're like, just they could be like Slytherin. So I do love them. And they've got them. They need to go in the wash. <laughs> oh, they must have not just come out of the wash. Next, I have a nighty, which is a very recent thing. I think I got this for my Christmas. And uh, it's just a green, and it says in the front, cunning, ambitious, determined, uh, resourceful, which is the traits of Slytherin. Resourceful, that is me. If anyone knows me, will know I'm very resourceful. Uh, determined, yeah, ambitious. I just said I wanted to make a Marauders film. I think I am. Cunning, can be when I want to be. <laughs> Next up, I have the Marauders map in a little kind of like jumpery bit. So it says, uh, Messrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot and Progs proud to present the Marauders map. I love this. It's so cosy when you're in its pajama top. Again, very cosy. Next up, we have a pajama shirt. Again, um, it says Slytherin Teton Captain, which I love so much. So it's like a shirt like this. But if you can see inside, it says D Malfoy. So it's so cool. Um, yes, I've only actually ever noticed they do this in. Um, Slytherin and Gryffindor and it says HP for H it says H Potter at the top usually um, but it's like Draco and they just love it and finally for clothing I have this pajama top I also have the pajama bottoms but I've just put them in the wash and it's this so it says S cunning ambitious determined resourceful and again it's the traits of Slytherin and it's just navy and the trousers are the same and this also says D Malfoy at the top. Next up for clothing is socks. So I have these socks that my mate got me for my my Christmas, which are Quidditch socks. So they say Quidditch Hogwarts, Quidditch Hogwarts, and Quidditch Hogwarts. But one has a, a fire bolt, one has the goals, and one has a snitch. I like them. They're cute. And this, this, this is all just this just ankle socks. Apart from this, which are kind of like long socks. So I ended up having a clean out of my, like all my ankle socks and realised the only ones I was keeping were all the Harry Potter ones. I think I have about three different styles of each. I, in fact, I do. I have three Gryffindor, three Slytherin, three Hufflepuff and three um, Ravenclaw. Um, all in there. That's all my, my Harry Potter socks. Pre-mark again. So I guess that's going to be it for part one because... Um, I have quite a lot so I think I'll just make that part one check that for part two where I will show you um, I guess um, it's a lot more miscellaneous and books books and miscellaneous will be next part um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did as I said give it a like subscribe all that and check back for part two see you guys then bye Knox.